Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Just Free coming at you with another video. Feel free to hit the like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. So, let's get into it. It's a lot of foolishness going on in the Miami sector. As per usual, a lot of foolishness, so not a lot of substance. Um, it's being shots being thrown. All kinds of random shenanigans, you know, the same old, same old. These mommies have nothing really going on, so they have got to figure out a way to keep their, um, you know, keep their subscribers entertained any way that they can. So, let's get into it. I'm going to have the conversation with you all based on my memory of watching some of these videos and, um, you know, of course, shout out to Lipstick Alley. Um, we're going to dig into their comments uh, section a little bit. So I'm going to do, um, I don't know, I think I'm going to do all three mommies together in this video. We'll see how long that goes. Um, it shouldn't be too long because I'm at the end of this particular thread. So anyway, let's get into it. First off, okay, um, Olivia, this person says she only sees her children four out of 30 days and weighs 430 pounds. <laughs> also, that's where 430 came from. My new name for this abusive, negligent vessel is 430. <laughs> Y'all be killing me. She says, I know 430 is filthy and lonely in her new little hovel. Her life is a cheat code to destruction and misery. Gerard bought his fiance a home and he's just getting started. The way those babies hug their real mama at the engagement party was beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, somebody said, baby, I'm claustrophobic looking at their little shack of hers. <laughs> So this person says, looks like Gerard got a job promotion. Maybe that's why she's mad. Ren involving herself in Chris's drama. <laughs> Once again, Olivia truly has absolutely nothing to talk about. Um, so let's see. I hope Chrissy ignores Hefty. She likes to bait folks into beef and then uses the back and forth as content. What an idiot. <sighs> Ooh, child. You know. It's a Yanni B and Fran and them um, and Queen Blama and TMR to talk about these heifers. Because they be lighting their asses up with the truth, man. I can't even, man. And see, that they got more insight to what's going on because they watch the videos so we don't have to. So it's a little harder for me to kind of like, you know, kind of get into what's going on. But. Um, just from the surface, you know, I see some things, I hear some things, and I like to expound, get my little, you know, my little thoughts and opinions. So, anyway, let's continue. Between Chrissy and Gerard, I don't know who gets her wetter to talk about. Um, you can tell Stella is gone. This girl doesn't need any more kids. She can't even take care of Zola baby alone. She's on live for hours at a time with a crying baby, looking mad and frustrated. Um, I might actually go to her video. I don't know. We'll see. Yep, that's why I asked if Stella is permanently, if Stella permanently left from Liz's house because the last two lives she's done, AJ was getting on her ever left <laughs> She probably pissed Stella off and she left. I can imagine Olivia must be hell to live with. Um, they really live. What? They really live like a bunch of crackheads over there. Even when Stella is there, they are up all night. The baby clearly is on no schedule. It's weird. She keeps trying to feed him all kinds of random foods. What's that about? She seems manic. So this dumb hoe was really out here talking about someone having kids with a pedo and saying it's the hypocrisy for me. <laughs> so let's not forget. The charges that were placed on Zello's dad. Let's not forget, you had your children around him and alone, but okay. Yanni started another dragging, and I just rolled up. Perfect timing. Yeah, Yanni be roasting the shit out of her. 
And then Liv, she be trying to say, she be trying to come back with a uh, some kind of comeback, child. But every time Liv tried to say some shit, she just, she stops in the middle of her sentence and then she just kind of like changes the subject. Girl, you don't know how to read to save your life, girl. So you might as well sit down and eat your damn food. This person said, what will Tuna get? She won't win against black women. Black women have spent... Child, I'm not into... I don't care about all that black and white shenanigans. I don't care about that stuff. Liv went to the field on the day Christian wasn't practicing, showing the people their pics of kids... Showing the people pics of the kids saying they were missing. What Liv didn't know was the people she went to, in fact, were friends and families of Gerard and Nisha and told Gerard... Y'all, I know y'all lying. Who the hell? I read this, or I read this a few minutes ago, actually, before I had um had started rolling. Where I turned the camera on, child, and I'm just like, so <laughs> this person like me say what? Oh, has this been confirmed? She's going to be fifty one fifty, and this person responded, yes, she was showing other parents. Picks of her kids asking if they know them. Child, I know y'all lying. There is no fucking way that this bitch was going around doing no dumb shit like that. You know how crazy you would have to look knowing that this this man has custody of the children. He has custody. She is a whole psycho. I I somebody got to somebody gotta confirm this shit. Um Yes, it was confirmed, but what's scary is how far she's willing to go to cause a ruckus. She probably had the camera recording while she went around those kids. She keep on playing. Keep on playing, Olivia. You just keep it up, sis. You gonna be, you gonna get your ass. You gonna be in big trouble, sister. Next, she will be staple <laughs> missing children pics of them on light posts around the field. <laughs> She needs to take her stank ass to that field and go hunting for one of them um, single dads out there, you dumb bitch. Get you a single dad and and go get you get your man, get you a single dad that want to deal with you and going about your business. And then y'all can even get together once you get your man. Then maybe y'all can get together. Maybe that man could talk to Gerard and kind of try to squash things. And then y'all could really come together as a family. How about that, Liv? You ever thought about that? It said, is she crazy? Why would she do that to Christian? She's a piece of work. Don't worry. It's just she means LSA. I don't know. What the hell? I hope they were recording her and sent the video to Gerard. Um, she said that her kids want her to be there, but to be honest, I doubt it. I'd be so embarrassed if my big 400 pound mama galloping on the field, <laughs> heavy breathing, taking two seats up, talking about I'm that bitch with her egg head and little bun and gel tattoos, <laughs> or wearing drag queen makeup with another ripped shirt and then black leggings. Don't embarrass some kids, please. Yeah, the image I have in my mind of Liz big ass scooching out that metal box at the football field to cause drama is sending me. Does she not realize how pathetic and ridiculous she looks? I hope Chrissy ignores Happy. Okay, you know what I will do? I'm going to get into... Hmm. We're going over to some comment section. Because uh, I really don't want to watch Olivia's videos. Uh, I'm so not interested, darling. Let me try. Okay, I'm going to go into a few comment sections. And actually, I'm going to do individual videos. Okay, on all three of the mommies. So, um, Ashley Gann says, oh, and shout out to Yanni B Live. I'm in her comment section. Shout out to her. Make sure y'all go over there and tune in to her channel. She, uh, Ashley Gann says she asked Christian about going to the pictures and he didn't want to. She is such a liar. As a parent, you have to make decisions for your kids because you know the importance of things. You know, like you don't ask your kids that they want to go to school. He was committed to that team and needed to be there. 
you know, that is so, you are so right. Like, what is wrong with her? Um, Mathematical Mommy says we are all witnessing how a narcissist lip behaves when they feel defeated. Remember that. Essence says Liv deserves to get gathered every single time. She does it to herself. D. Jones says if Liv is reading this girl, stop your mess on fire and getting burnt and you're making a fool of yourself. When you said she was shaped like the penguin from Batman, from Batman I hollered. My sentiments exactly. Tyra Green says I noticed she mimics you a lot, which tells me she watches you. She's talking to, um... Talking to Yanni. Um, Olivia's jealous of you is why she keeps her attention on you. Um, man, they be smoking her ass. Like Yanni had me dying. I was up getting ready for work. And I was listening. I'm like, Yanni is a fool. Um, slick what it says. I don't like that name. Big Funky's the type of debut mother that wants nothing to do with her children, education, and sports activities. But as soon as they become professionals, they're the parent, they'd be all up in the cameras. <laughs> Talk about how they was a child's number one supporter. Annie Renee says, I missed the notification. Um, uh, my my six BB66 says, I hope someone is not just notifying Gerard the Big Funky back to having bums over. He better question those kids when they come home after each visit. See, she's gonna cry because you called her bald headed. Oh, child. I can't get over this whole hair thing. Like, what the hell? I mean, she really think that little thin piece of hair she got on her head. <laughs> she really be swinging that thin ass hair. Flinging it around like it's some damn, I don't know, what the hell. Oh, let me go to, um, chat. Storm cracks me up too, shout out to her. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, wait a minute. Give me just a minute, y'all. One second. Oh, and I wanted to talk about this new man that um, Storm um, saw in the background. I guess she thought, um, I guess you could see the tip of somebody's head. I wasn't really, I mean, Storm pointed it out, so I guess you could see some. I guess it's somebody. Um, my BB66 says that wacko got, got a new sitcom. That so must be out of town. She's all over POF. She will pass him off as the baby daddy. When we all know Zola's the baby daddy. Remember those Super Bowls we had as kids? That's what Liv reminds me of. You bounce at once and it goes off in every direction. <laughs> Where does she come up with all this stupidity all the time? Definitely a smooth brain. Nisha L said it's the fact that she's comfortable enough to bring her to her house or her baby. Oh, child. Yeah, she said in that live, he left and didn't lock the door. She sure did say that. I did listen to it. Um, of course, I fast forwarded through it. Um, she did throw that in there. And she do little shit like that because she wants somebody. She want people to catch that type of shit. Just to, these, these bitches kill me. Between her and Chrissy, you know, they just feel they just got this need to prove that a man will, don't even let me get started, because I was going to do this on a crazy video, but these bitches feel the need to, um, that they just got to show that some nigga want them, and let's be clear, 
bitch, the man that you qualify for, particularly live, sis, that man is very much below average at best, okay? Anybody willing to deal with your skanky ass? It's not going to be somebody of quality, okay? And then whatever other nigga she talking to that, um, <laughs> oh, damn, Yanni, oh, my God. Yo, she is so, up, she is so New York. I, she downstate, I'm upstate. But, bitch, I'm telling you, like, we... <laughs> Me and her friend, we all from me. Well, I'm from upstate. They from downstate. And man, it's nothing like a New York, a New York City roast though, because they just, I mean, honey child, <laughs> Yanni is so raw. She just like when she talked about how. Apparently, Olivia, Olivia was taking a phone call, and I guess you could tell, because I know what video she's talking about, but I wasn't really paying attention. I think I just saw, like, a clip to somebody else's video, whatever, and I know what she's talking about, where she was on the phone, but apparently, the way she paused, you could tell it was a jail phone call or a prison phone call or whatever. And, <laughs> you know, I, you know, it's so crazy because they think they're so slick. In particular, especially Liv. She thinks she's so slick that, and not that she's trying to hide. I mean, listen, she's a grown woman. She can do whatever the hell she want to do. But be clear, Olivia, the the men that you deal with, girl, ain't nothing, to, like I said before, and I'll say it again, they'll never be better than Gerard. Gerard is the best you ever gonna get, ever, okay? Um, Because for a man to be willing to take on you know, I mean, well, those were his kids that he had by you. So, of course, he was willing to do, you know, do the things that he did. Go to work, pay the bills, come home, take care of the kids while you laid your fat ass around. You think, what other nigga you think, you think, gonna ever, ever be willing to do all of those things? Now, you, she... She sits up there and downplays it and talks about how she worked and, and she made money and she did this, that, and the other. You know, she brought on that lump sum of money before, $10,000, whatever. And as if, as if she was doing it by herself, bitch, you wasn't a single mom. Be very clear. You had a partner, bitch. So, and regardless, Gerard was out there working his ass off. As he should have. So it's funny how you sit up there and downplay what that man did for y'all as a family. But trust and believe, you will never, ever, ever, ever in your life get that type of man ever again to do even remotely close to what Gerard did for you. And the next situation in, you get in and the situation after that, you going to compare them to Gerard. Trust and believe. You will compare them to Gerard. Because you already know what time it is. Your fat, greasy ass sitting up there. You had a situation. You had a, a, a good situation going on. I'm not saying Gerard was perfect. I'm not. You know, nobody's perfect. That goes without saying. But be very crystal clear, bitch. A dude like that, even though, you know, nobody's perfect, like I said. But, but a dude that's really going to take care of his family, 
um, at that level, you know, comes around for a woman, I mean, shit, that's hard to find as it is. And when you do get them, bitch, you think you're going to get another one? Look what you mess with after him. Girl, bye. And Maria got silent said, <laughs> even at my age, my mind will still go upside my head. Listen. Listen. I revert back to Tay. Listen. Just go back and watch Tamar Braxton in them. Watch the Braxtons. When Ella, uh, Evelyn threatened to smack the shit out of her on TV, and this bitch is, was married and had a baby. I think she had had little Logan by at that point. But she said some shit to Evelyn, and Evelyn was like, what? And Tamar was all of 35. Okay. And the same thing, um, well, not the same thing. My mother, she ain't threatening to hit, <laughs> hit me or nothing, but shit, I was. I had a guy friend, you know, and and my mother was like, and she had something to say about some things, and I was just like, shit, I was over 35, bitch. And I was like, excuse me? But that just goes to show that our mothers, you know, they can still say something to us because they know how they raised us. And um, the fact of the matter is, Olivia, I don't know what the hell she had going on, but it's obvious to me that Stella's scared, scared, scared as hell of her, I tell you that much. Um... That man Uber Eats delivering. She was like, get on live with me. What? How does Stella feel comfortable? How does anyone feel comfy doing that around their mouth? So, this is in reference to the man, this, this man that's supposed to be, that was over there. Girl, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't dare. My kids, Listen, my kids don't even, they couldn't even tell you. I, now, I had guy friends that I introduced them to that I actually, friends that I knew from high school, whatever, whatever the case was. For one thing, ain't nobody spending that night at my house. That's first of all. And my kids ain't waking up to nobody. So, whoever I have, you know, whoever they have known as mommy's friend or whatever, they see them in passage, child. They see them, and that's all they know. They don't know, oh, Uncle Daddy, Uncle this, Uncle, Uncle so and so stayed tonight, and, um, or that's mommy's new boyfriend. And mommy, mommy got a new boyfriend every six months to a year. Bitch, please. Fuck out of here. And I damn sure, and my mother lives with me too, at one point in time. And I damn sure wasn't bringing no men around with her in the house. So, you know, that's just how, I mean, Stella, Stella probably didn't really raise that girl. Um, obviously. So that's, I mean, we already know that whole backstory. Anyway, if there was a man, he's probably there as a healthcare person. <laughs> Notice how men suddenly appear when we suspect their mom is gone. She really can't stop her slap. What? She can never be by herself. Men are more important than her kids. She's for the streets. No, her and, um, no, her and Jazz can't afford a nice dish. She's only been in Texas a little over a month to two months at the max. And she already got a new man. Calling a stranger bait is so thirsty. She just got to Texas and already got a man in her house. Jesus, please let your ride help the kids. She gets a new man like tomorrow. She'll be coming alive saying she caught something. Ah, yo, <laughs> listen, as far as her talking to the dude from the prison bay, because I think I veered off the topic, 
when I started going on a rant. But um, as far as the prison bay go, you know, listen, I had, uh, I, you know, I've had a dude, I messed with, I had a friend that was locked up too, bitch, but he was, first of all, before he even went to prison, he had a job. He was working for the damn state, bitch. And he was selling dope on the side. So, there, how about that? Second of all, I mean, I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying. So, even if I did deal with a nigga in prison, it's somebody that's, that actually, you know, even though he about that life, he know when to get this shit up. He know when to, you know, turn it around. Like, I don't deal with riffraff, period. So, that's not even on my radar. Um, but, you know, my friend ended up, he had, he ended up going to prison. And, um, shit, and he was sending me money. So, I mean, Olivia, you don't have that kind of, you don't, girl, who child? The kind of niggas you fuck with, you desperate for them, and they looking for a place to either place to stay or they just want some poom poom. They don't really fuck with you like that. You probably sending him money. (laughs) And I mean, it's like, are you ever going to deal with somebody that's 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 solid and stable. I mean, I'm not bad at prison bay, but I mean, shit, because I know niggas that's been in prison, but the ones I know that come home, they turn it around. Like my cousin did 15 years for attempted murder. He been home. My son's 13. He been home 11 years. And been working as a barber ever since. He engaged. He got a baby. Um, my other cousin, he not so much, but I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of dudes that come out, come home, and that I hear about that that are working, and you know they don't look back. They not going back to prison and all that dumb shit. So. Whoever lives, I mean, she just fuck with anybody. She don't even know who the hell she, child, God only knows what kind of man (laughs) this is. Somebody said this, she said she was celibate. I guess Bay is the guy she went on a date with, but isn't her type. But she said the same thing about Brandon. She a whole hot mess. How could, how could he not... So, you just gonna go out with any old body because they ask you? If I don't like you, I'm not going out with you. I mean, maybe after the fact, you know, after we, if I'm not attracted to you, I'm not going out with you. Now, after the fact, we have a conversation and then you start saying, you say some shit that I don't agree with or it's not a vibe. You know, we're not vibing, we're not connecting, then okay. But I don't just go out with men to spend their money. Like that's dumb. That's on that's some that's some dusty ass behavior bullshit. Like I don't use people for dates to go out and eat, bitch. I don't have to um I don't need no free meals. I'm trying to find somebody. But you got four kids, bitch, and you out here like you some single twenty five year old that's just, you know, la di da di da. No, you need a husband for them kids. You need a husband for structure, bitch. A lot of times a man will straighten your ass up and get you together. Somebody that you can, like they like to say, you know, partner with. So y'all can do some real boss shit together. I mean, if you want to do it alone, that's on you. I mean, do you. But... As the saying goes, we work better together. You don't have to do shit on your own. If you find somebody with a mindset 
that's willing and wants to, you know, <clears throat> make some moves. Like buy a house. Um, make sure y'all driving uh, nice cars so that you don't have to always put money into them and, and throw them in the shop every fucking five minutes. That's what you need a man for. If you want one, I mean, hey, if you, you know, that's not, yo, know, that's not your belief, that's not your belief, whatever. Um, the whole of YouTube street know what tuna is, you know, better than crispy. I peeped that was, too, was waiting for somebody to bring it up. Community put, but she was celibate. She said she was celibate. Ooh, child. God only know. Um, what else did I want to um comment on about Olivia? Was something else? The baby, the boyfriend. Um. The new guy at the prison bay. Oh, I guess that's it, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video.